Sunday we begin this Holy Week and the traditional Mother Church gives us the three days in which we focus our attention on what Jesus is doing and on what we are to be in a week that makes us holy. That's why I invite you dear friends to come for Holy Thursday celebrations, a day when we commemorate the institution of the Eucharist that fooled Jesus himself with us on a journey that he gives us the signs of bread and the wine. The celebrations of the, the Misa in Cena Domini, all that Mass in the, the meal with the Lord in the Senaco will take place at 5.30 in the evening. That is Holy Thursday. Then, Good Friday, we shall start very early in the morning at 7 a.m. to make a public way of the cross. A journey that we really in a way be a bit tiresome is a public way of the cross with the different stations especially stations within our our parish in Buya, and uh, organized by our youth who will help us also to really make alive and uh, try really to to imagine what happened to the master we make that journey together and then we shall have the veneration of the cross all the the good friday liturgy starting at 5 p.m. in the evening. And then we shall have Holy Saturday, a day of silence, to, to be quiet with the Lord as he lay in the tomb. But then we come to celebrate the night, the Easter Vigil, which will be preceded by Easter carols, presented to us by our choir, Our Lady of Africa, Mbuya, Olak, at 7 p.m. And then, at 8 p.m. in a total darkness, we shall begin the celebration of that night, beginning with the rite or the ritual, the fire, when we welcome Christ as light into our darkness. And in that uh, liturgy, we shall have the catechumens who have, been, who have been prepared and elected for the sacraments of initiation, baptized and initiated into the church. And the celebration will start at 8 p.m will be led by the Apostolic Nuncio to Uganda, Archbishop Luigi Bianco, who will be the main celebrant. And then Easter Sunday, of course, as you know, will be the normal Sunday, full of joy. We shall come together now to celebrate the victory of the Lord. And the Masses will be the same, 7, 9, 11, 1, and 5 p.m. I wish you a grace-filled Holy Week, let it be holy in itself, but let it be holy for each one of us that we come out transformed out of these celebrations.